Good afternoon from the press box at Stevenson Stadium. I'm Dylan Buckwart, here to bring you Behind the Whistle, Stevenson's high, Stevenson High School Coaches Show on the Stevenson Broadcast Network. During each episode, we have the opportunity to sit down and talk with a different head coach here at Stevenson. On this episode, we are lucky enough to be able to talk to head coach of the SHS wrestling team, Coach Shane Cook. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, what changes or policies have you implemented since starting here at Stevenson? Uh, I began here in 2006, and previous to that, uh, Stevenson Wrestling had a strong program. In the previous 10 years, they had had four all-state wrestlers, uh, had put a wrestler downstate uh, competing in, at the IHSA state tournament for every year from the previous 16 years. So it was, it was definitely a very competitive program. Um, but we realized as soon as we came on board that, that the numbers just weren't there. Uh, there was about 40 kids in the program. Uh, so we really tried to get the word out about wrestling, um, make it something that kids wanted to be a part of. Uh, and we've grown the program now uh, to where we'll start each season with over 100 wrestlers. Um, not every wrestler stays, so I'm figuring out that it's not for them. And we usually finish our season around 75 or 80 wrestlers. Uh, so I'd say that's been the biggest change, is just trying to grow the program um, and get as many kids out for the sport as possible. All right. So what are your off-season workouts like with working with the team or just on your own? Well, we encourage all of our wrestlers to wrestle in our summer camp, which we call the Stevenson Wrestling Academy of Champions. Uh, it runs for two weeks during the month of June. Uh, in the evenings, we bring kids in, work them out. Oftentimes we try and bring in guest clinicians, uh, wrestlers from the area that have had success, bring them in so that our wrestlers can not only learn from me and our coaching staff, but uh, also learn from, from other wrestlers that have had success and, and have gone on to wrestle at higher levels. Um, we have an open weight room year round where we encourage our guys to come in. Um, that's one area we've really tried to focus on this past year is just getting our kids stronger. Um, it's a necessity. Mm. You got to hit the weights, uh, you got to get bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, so we try and get them in there and put as many hours in as possible. Alrighty. So what do you expect of the new faces upcoming in this, on your team this year? Well, um, we're really hoping that one of our wrestlers that started for us two years ago, but was out all of last year due to an injury, uh, we really hope that he gets cleared by his doctor to wrestle. Uh, he's a senior, his name is Mark Jokover. Um, he's worked extremely hard. Um, but in preseason last year, he ended up, uh, su ended up suffering a, a pretty severe injury to his neck that required surgery. Um, so if he gets clearance from his doctors, if he's, he's back in our lineup, he'll be a huge addition. Uh, we're still waiting about three weeks to his next doctor's appointment. Um, so he'll be a new face uh, compared to last year, but he was a starter for us two years ago. Uh, as far as new wrestlers to the lineup, we've got some, some guys that are sophomores this year, uh, and Chad Berryman. Um, uh, J.J. Aquino are, are some guys that have made some huge strides. Uh, so we're expecting, we're expecting some young faces for sure. Uh, we graduated nine seniors out of our starting lineup last year, which is 14 guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so there'll be a ton of new faces. And we'll just have to see how, how that lineup plays out uh, as we get started in our season. All righty. So who do you feel is going to be your toughest opponent this year? Uh, the Libertyville Wildcats. They have been uh, historically the strongest team in our conference, uh, not only in our conference, but in the sectional and in, in the state of Illinois as well. Um, they are coached very well. Those kids work extremely hard. They've been committed to the sport. Um, and to date, it, it pains me to say this, but uh, a Stevenson Patriot varsity team has never in the history of our program beaten uh, Libertyville in a dual meet. And come close a couple of times, uh, especially in the past five years but uh, we've never been able to get over that hump. So Libertyville is definitely the team to beat. That's what we're working towards. Um, every day we're up in that room is working to take them down. And then also speaking about the conference, how strong do you feel about the conference this year? The North Suburban Conference is one of the toughest wrestling conferences in the state of Illinois. Um, that, that has come about in the past five years with a lot of kids fully committing themselves uh, to the sport. And there's been a representative um, from the North Suburban Conference in the state finals. I, I believe every year for the past five years, um, several state champions, um, multiple all-state wrestlers have come out of our conference. So it's, it's a very competitive conference. Uh, if, you, if you're able to have success at the North Suburban Conference tournament, then uh, the expectations for you are high in the state tournament. All righty. And then how do you prepare for those big games like against Libertyville? Well, 
regardless of whether we're wrestling Libertyville or any other of our opponents on our schedule, uh, we take that opponent seriously. We go out and wrestle our match uh, and try and control the pace and the tempo of the match. We try and be as physical as we possibly can, regardless of whether we're wrestling Libertyville or, or anybody else. Um, we don't really look at a particular meet or, or a match as being a big meet or a big match. They're all big, and, and we want to win them all. Alrighty, so then what motivational strategies do you use when going into a match? Well, the greatest motivational factor for wrestlers is to have some success. Um, if you can get, especially a young wrestler, to have a taste of success, it becomes addicting and they want more. Uh, it's a sport where it's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's unlike football where you have 11-on-11 11 11, and at times maybe the offense fumbles or, or the defense uh, let up a big play. Um, you know, basketball where there's five on five and, uh, you know, the opposing team hits a last second three-point shot. In wrestling, it's one man against another man head-to-head. Uh, -head. And the success in the sport uh, totally lies on the individual shoulders and defeats in the sport totally lies on that individual sh shoulders. There's no, uh, there's no finger pointing, there's no blame game by any means. So we really try and motivate our kids to have some success, to go out and win a match so that they can continue to work hard to try and win more and have continued success. All righty, well that's just about all the time we have for today. Thank you Coach Cook for your time. I'd also like to thank Stevenson Athletic Director, Ms. Trish Bethauser, Jason Carlson and Jeremiah Enright at WAES, and Joe Pine and the crew at SHS TV. Thank you for all your hard work. For Coach Cook and the entire crew of Behind the Whistle, I'm Dylan Buckwhites. Thanks for watching.